Hey guys, it's Izzy's Amazing Life, and today I, today is the first episode of the Ultimate Doll Photography Challenge Season 3, and real quick, I have a couple of things to announce, um, some regarding the competition, some not, but the things that regard the competition are very important, so stay tuned. But first, I got fairy lights for this little filming studio. I'm so happy. I love fairy lights. Um, and also, I got a new doll. She's actually, I got her on like June 28th. She came, um, she came on June 28th, and that is actually a while ago, and I had a whole video planned to, re oh, like, reviewing her and stuff, and then I accidentally deleted the footage, so I'm just gonna show her to you in this video. I got the Let's Explore outfit, lightest skin tone, freckles, um, brown eyes, I got light brown eyes, brown hair, um, and yeah, that's her. So, and I got the Let's Create accessories also. Now, onto some things that will for sure regard the competition. So, number one, we have, um, one new contestant, so that is cool. And also, we have a new scoring system and a second judge. So our second judge is my mom. So she will be judging with me. Um, she is going to be an awesome judge. And I want you to stay tuned if you are in the competition, or even if you're not, if you want to know how these are being scored, until the end. Anyone who's in the competition, if you want to know how your photo is being scored between the two of us, stay until the end. So me and my mom have looked at the photos. They will not be judged this week, but we both said some things that were good and bad about each photo. And yeah, let's get right into it. We were mostly on the same page about what was good and bad about the photos. And also, just so it's valid for you, I'll have her speak in the video where it's being judged. So here are the five finalists. So the first photo is from Abby. And my mom doesn't write anything up about these photos because mostly we have the same opinions on them. What is good and what is bad. So if she really wants me to say something, what she wrote up in the video, she can. She can tell me that, but she just mainly wants to rank them because we're mostly on the same page. So let's start with the good things for Abby's. First, most of the photo is very bright. I like how Abby is painting. The painting is beautiful. The clips in Abby's hair are very cute, and Abby's dress is very cute. Now for some things you could have done better and some advice. First, Abby's hair is a bit messy, so maybe just tame that a little bit and brush it out a little more. Her dress is not something you would typically wear when you're painting. The paintbrush is a bit too big for Abby. The left side of the photo is a bit dim, and the photo is a bit grainy. Overall, my critiques were really nitpicky, and you did a great job. The next finalist is Amanda from Gracie TV. She has participated in the past two contests, the past two seasons, as well as Abby. So thank you guys for your participation and your devotion to my competition. It really means a lot. So let's start with the good things about this photo. First, the photo is very bright. Amanda's eyes are very bright. Amanda's outfit is very cute. And now for some things you could have done better and some advice. By the way, this doll's name is Ava. I forgot to say that. But for some things you could have done better and some advice. There are some strands of hair in Amanda's face, so maybe just pull those out of the way of her face a little bit so we can see it more clearly. And the photo lacks in visual interest, so I wish Amanda were doing something other than just standing there. But my second judge actually liked that she could see your full face for the entry. She thought some of them were a little too busy because you could use those ideas for later things. So it just kind of depends on the judge. But I definitely like more busy, busier pictures. Not too busy that they distract from the doll, though. But overall, I think this photo is very cute. The next finalist is Gracie from Desi and Shy Shy Time, and we actually have two finalists from Desi and Shy Shy Time, so that's cool. But let's start with the good things about Gracie's photo. 
First, I love the background. I love the signs. The disco ball is very cute. The outfit is very cute. The outfit is accurate. Gracie's eyes are very bright. And you can really tell that you put a lot of effort into this photo. Like, it's very obvious that you put a lot of effort into the photo and the signs and the disco ball and stuff. Now for some things you could have done better and some advice. First, the photo is very grainy. The photo is a bit blurry. The photo is dim. And um, the second judge said that it kind of bothered her that there were shadows under the feet. And I get where she's coming from because it doesn't look quite like she's standing. And I know those dolls are very hard to pose. but So I know where you're coming from with that. But just try a little harder to get her to stand up without shadows under her feet. And also, um, I'm sure this is just an accident, but like you didn't know this. But um, the decade would have been more like the 1970s and not the 1860s. You probably heard like... 1973 and thought that someone said 1863 but yeah that would probably be more like the 70s 1970s instead of the 1860s for disco but I mean it wasn't decades week it was just an entry so this photo is very good for that but overall this photo is very cute and creative and we can tell you put a lot of effort into it the fourth finalist is Caitlin from Desi and Shy Shy Time so let's start with the good things about this photo. First, most of the photo is very bright. The iPod looks like a tablet for Caitlin. I love the window. Me and my mom were like both like amazed at the window. It's just so cute. Caitlin's eyes are very bright. Her outfit is really cute. Her outfit fits the scene. Caitlin's hair fits the scene. I love the attention to detail. And I really like the crab stuffed animal. Now for some things you could have done better and some advice. First, on the far left, um, I noticed there were a couple of things that were kind of, that could have been cropped out that didn't really fit the scene. It just looked like maybe a stuffed animal and a, like a poster that were kind of in the background. And they were a bit distracting. And I wish Caitlin were looking more at the iPod. Overall, I think this is a great idea and it was very well executed. And now for the last finalist, Meredith. So Meredith is the last finalist of this competition. So let's start with the good things about your photo. So first, Meredith's outfit is very cute. I like how she is standing in front of an American flag, especially with all that's going on in America right now. And I like the trees in the background. Now for some things you could have done better and some advice. First, the photo is very dim. The photo is a bit grainy. Meredith's eyes are a bit dim. And I wish Meredith were doing something other than just standing there. But overall, this is a very cute photo. So that was all the photos for this week. Um, thank you to everyone who entered and participated. Um, and thank you to everyone who has been in this like for all the seasons that is awesome thank you so much so we've had uh i think three of the contestants have been in this all of the seasons and one of the contestants was in this last season only in this season and then there is one new contestant but thank you to everyone who is in this right now and thank you to my mom for helping me judge these photos um i am now into that sort of judging thing um, but also real quick, I will be posting on Sundays now because I had a lot of like ideas for YouTube videos and they're kind of crowding my brain and it's just, ah, it's just too much to just do Fridays for random videos and Tuesdays reserved for one thing, the ultimate doll photography challenge. So now Sundays and Fridays will be posting days and Tuesdays, of course but into the judging. So I brought in another judge because for one, I thought it would be fun to judge with my mom. And also, um, the I think it would be a lot more fair to have two judges and I think people will not, like if you're at home sitting and watching, you might not get as mad or anything if two judges are judging because who knows, if you get like 
third place or something. One of us could have put you, like, second. Well, I could get eliminated. One of us could have put you second place out of five, and one of us could could have put you fifth place. It just depends on that. So how the point system will work is, so say someone got, say I ranked someone fifth place next week. If I rank someone fifth place next week and my mom would rank the same person first place next week, then um, fifth place would get one point and it'll just kind of go up from there. So same thing with fourth place. Fourth place will get one point. So, so on. So the last place person, this is kind of confusing, last place person will get one point, and then the point system will just go up from there. So in the last week, there'll be one person will get one point, one person will get two points in the scale. So also, if both people get the same amount of points, there's something we're going to do to work that out. We're just going to try to work that out with each other. But yeah, if you get eliminated... Um, one person could have put you at second, and one person could have put you at fifth, so don't be sad. It's not like one person put you at fifth now, and I think it'll be more fair, um, and we can talk to each other and think about our decisions before we actually make them. So, not sure if I already said this or not, but the theme for next week will be sports, so you can choose any sport for your doll to be playing, um, for your photo to focus on um you have to choose one sport and it i'm guessing will be awesome and i really want to see you guys get challenged with this um try not to rely too heavily on editing of course edit your photos make them brighter whatever you need to do um but try not to edit in backgrounds i would say this every week just because um if you edit in backgrounds and stuff it can sometimes be really good for you and sometimes be really bad for you so yeah and you can do any sport you want and I think this will be an awesome week sadly we will have to eliminate someone next week but that is what the competition is for so yeah I'm really really excited I've been rambling for way too long so um bye guys from Izzy's Amazing Life